where if it starts to rain you're going to get totally wet. So I'm kind of stuck here. This might be a good campground. The cops won't bother me. I just took my first crash here. You know, I'm not into speeding on the highway and doing wheelies. It's illegal, it's reckless. But cops need to identify themselves when they're stopping you. And this cop, Officer Dumbass Joseph David Euler, this was a plain case of police intimidation. After this uh, biker's arrest, police... Six state troopers raided his parents' home and seized four computers at the crack of dawn. And what I hate about it is that these cops never get anything done to them. I mean, they don't get suspended. They don't get anything. Clearly, all cops are above the law. I mean, they really can do anything that they want. They can pull guns on the average citizen. Like, I thought you had to be an enforcer. I thought you had to enforce the law legally. So a judge signed the search warrant to go and raid the rider's home. And of course, they actually hid the judge's name. There's no judge's name on the, the search warrant, which is very interesting. They claim it was to protect the judge's privacy. How is that even a thing? So in September 27, 2010, the criminal charges against Grabber, the motorcycle rider, were dropped. And the court threw out the charge of recording illegal activity on the grounds that the law was unconstitutional, noting that the videotaping of public events is protected under the First Amendment. The judge ruled that Maryland's wiretap law does not prohibit recording of voice or sound in areas where privacy cannot be expected and that a police officer on a traffic stop has no legal expectation of privacy. But, of course, this raid where they came into the rider's home, like nothing was made of it. It's incredible that the police can do this to citizens. And in case you want to know what happened to the cop that pulled over the motorcyclist, well, he's a Maryland native, five-year resident of Elkton, and he was hoping to be elected to Maryland's delegates of the 36th district on June 24th, but faced a challenger. So the guy didn't make it because he exercises very poor judgment in pulling a gun, not identifying himself as a cop, to a citizen on the road. So you don't want this guy to run for any leadership opportunity. But sometimes I kind of go back in these cases, and I wonder what happened to the cops that did these things to motorcycle riders or cars, car drivers, and just people in general. And most of the time, nothing ever happens to these cops. They're not accountable for anything. They're above the law. And this dumbass cop was even running for office. How incredible is that? Look, the rider was riding recklessly. Pull him over, give him a ticket, jail him, whatever. But don't pull a gun on him and not identify yourself. Get off the motorcycle. Get off the motorcycle, state police.